I've come here to St. Michael's in Sheringham, a beautiful yet typical prodigothic church. It was in this very church that a baby Alan Partridge was lowered into the font and christened. It's always concerned me that fellow Christians subject their young to this gentle form of waterboarding, but it's one of God's rules. I'm joined by the Reverend Richard Hatcher. Reverend, there is the rather lazy stereotype uh, of a graveyard as being somewhere uh, that we're familiar with from horror films where a, a hand may emerge from a grave and grab the ankle of an innocent uh, student on holiday. Hmm. Graveyards are, are places that are charged with meaning. I mean, I know your parents are, are both buried here. Yeah. Well, they died, so uh, I buried them. So, of course, their graves and all the graves here, they are, they are symbols of... of a life lived. Mm, mm. Um, a, 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 a collection of, of memories. Yeah, yeah. Um, and graves are uh, keepers of stories untold. Great name for an album, Keepers of Stories Untold. Mm. Can I ask you a question? If you were told quite forcefully to draw a soul, <laughs> what, what form would it take, do you think? Be a bit quicker. If you don't speed it up, it's hard. Well, the, the soul is inside us. I always imagine a soul, strangely, to be like a, a badly poached egg, so that the yolk, the centre, is intact, but the albumum, the outer soul, if you like, is long and stringy. Um, another way of looking at it is a very small ballerina with a large lace cloak. Um, similar thing. Those are two good ones. Do you have any? I don't know that it's enormously helpful to dwell on the physical. I agree. I, I, never, I don't dwell on it. I just talk about it sometimes. Um, but it is a lovely, very well-maintained graveyard. Well, I think it's important that we do keep it well-maintained. Um, I mean, of, of course, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's important that, that the graveyard doesn't become... Um, Quicker, bigger. Um, ..some kind of shrine for people that have, um, that have passed on. Yeah. But um, at, at the same time, I, I, th I think... A, I think a cemetery should be a place of quiet reflection, you know, away from all the hustle and bustle, a haven of tranquility. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alan. OK. OK. Can we tighten that up? Yeah. Where's he gone? Where's he going? What an odd man. Are we absolutely sure he's a local vicar? He's not going back to the vicarage, he's just walking off. 